Hi, I'm Judith Sullivan, and this is another segment of You Only Have Your Body, Get to Know It. This is a segment on your head and tail connection because it's important to understand how our head and our tail are related. Most of us walk around and we think our heads are in charge of everything, but that's really not quite true. In fact, in almost every spiritual tradition, the sacrum is the sacred bone and the sacrum is called the second brain. So we don't have to talk about that now, but just be aware of that. If you have a bad fall on your tailbone, now, oh, and I want to introduce you to my assistant, Fosby, here. She knows a lot more about this than most of us. And you can see here the occiput, the spinal column, and the sacrum, and then at the very end, the coccyx. This is all connected by the dural tube and the spinal cord within your dural tube. You have your meninges all around your spinal cord. You have your dura, your arachnoid, and your pia, which is what surrounds the brain, the closest to the brain and the closest to the spinal cord. It's also filled with fluid, cerebral spinal fluid. So falling on your tailbone, because of the laws of fluid and hydraulic dynamics, you will have a mini tsunami where you will have a pressure right into your head from that blow or that force. This can cause, per, for instance, what we call a sacral concussion so that you can have some of the same symptoms that you have if you've fallen on your head as if you've fallen on your tailbone. You can have that fuzziness of thinking, loss of short-term memory. So be aware of this and pay attention if you have a bad fall on your tailbone. And you can have the bad falls on your tailbone by falling off a horse, falling down the stairs, falling on the ice, having a good friend pull a chair out from under you when you're a teenager. And you will remember these falls because you will remember when asked if you ever had a fall on your tailbone. It'll either be, oh, not so much, I can't remember, or oh yeah, I remember so-and-so did something, or I fell off the swing, or I fell out of a tree, or I jumped off the roof and I fell smack onto my tailbone and it hurt for days. So this is an example of you had a bad fall on your tailbone. Here you have another, this is the connection between your sacrum and your occiput, which is this bone right here, and this is how it sits in the head. And if you have a fall on your sacrum and it goes like this, your occiput is going to do the same thing because of this attachment. So it's a mirror image. What happens here is going to happen as well at the other end. My favorite fact in the body is that the pia matter, which as I said before, lies right along the spinal cord has what is called the phylum terminale, which means the terminal filament. And it comes down through the sacral hiatus and then merges with the periosteum of the coccyx. So what you have here is what's on the outside of the periosteum of the coccyx is on the inside, right next to the brain. So here you have a koan not inside, not outside, or both inside and outside. The reason this affects the jaw is because of the temporal bones that lie next to the occiput. If the occipital bone gets torsioned like this, all of the temporal bones are going to change, and your temporal bones are where your mandible or your jaw bone hook into, so that's going to change. Actually, this is not so difficult to remedy. Uh, zero balancing is one of the ways that can take the tension and the trauma out of the tailbone or out of the head if you happen to have fallen on your head. But know that if you've fallen on your head, you must deal with the tailbone. And if you've fallen on your tail, you must deal with your head because they are intimately connected. 